I think Apple remains attractive over the next couple of years, and it's really driven by the broadening of its growth drivers. Uh, the iPhone remains healthy. We're seeing good growth from iPad and Mac due to, to work from home and, and learn from home. And really, you have areas like services with the, which are healthy, and the wearables category, uh, the watch, the AirPods, really, it's just getting going. So there are, of course, risks, but I think the company is executing well on the product cycles, which set, sets it up nicely uh, as we look out into uh, the rest of this year and into next year. All right, the next one as we move up the letter chain is Alphabet. I still have trouble with that. I still like to call it Google Daniel because, I mean, that's Google is basically their business. They got a couple other things, but Alphabet is Google. There's changing of algorithms. There's changing of privacy. There's changing of the way that advertisers can get their metrics. It doesn't sound like any of that is worrying you around Google. Well, Brian, I think it's a continued evolution of, of the Google platform or Alphabet, how, however we want to term it. And really, it's about delivering value to its users, delivering value to, to advertisers. And so I think the core search business is healthy. Uh, YouTube is strong. There is always going to be an element of changing algorithms, evolving the platform. I think that's critical to, to maintaining the, the vibrancy of the Google platform. The other big thing that we're focused on is the Google Cloud platform. And that's a business that's targeting enterprise users who can use Google's uh, cloud computing uh, platform to, to, to run their own IT. And from all the research we do when we talk to customers, that business is mm -hmm. really in its infancy. So a lot to like uh, uh, with Google or Alphabet over the next uh, 12 to 24 months. And while many of us terrified to go outside for a couple of months last year, things have changed. Amazon just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And it sounds like a lot of the things that we did because we had to, now we do because we want to. And that the, the Amazonification of America is here to stay. Uh, Brian, Amazon's a continued focus, a story of focusing on its customers and, and clearly throughout the pandemic. And, and really, as we think about the world post-pandemic, Amazon is becoming more and more critical to, to, to consumers, to businesses. So if we look at the Prime membership, uh, it's continuing to deliver a lot of value in terms of uh, both the delivery, uh, the, the free delivery, uh, as well as content, the Amazon Web Services. We've seen throughout the pandemic that customers, enterprise customers, as well as consumers, are relying increasingly on the cloud. And we see that only accelerating in the years ahead. And then lastly, they have some other businesses like advertising, which we think could become a more important part of the story over the next couple of years. So a lot to like here. Uh, there is, of course, risk with Amazon, Apple, uh, Alphabet. But these companies are continuing to innovate, to invest. And really, the key is to delight yeah. their customers and bring value. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.